so a little life update that I'm gonna be giving you. I just had lunch right now and I grabbed my yoga mat and I laid it on the grass in the backyard and I'm just sitting down here enjoying this weather and talking about what's been happening the past couple months, what's happening right now, and my plan for the next couple months. So tune in for that. <laughs> but it is August 26th. Um, and later tonight, the original plan was to fly back home, back to the States, back to LA. And technically, I should be in Seoul right now, like touring the area, the city, before I head back home. But you guys know how the second wave hit in Korea, and the virus is just spreading rapidly in Seoul and Busan. So it probably would have been the better idea to stay in Jeju before I headed back home. But change of plans. Um, I won't be flying home tonight. I will be staying in Jeju for the rest of 2020. I think so. That's the plan for now. And this was a God-given plan. I'm entering my last year of undergrad and this is how I'm gonna be spending it, you know, while taking online classes in Korea, time difference. Oh my gosh, I really don't know how I'm gonna handle this, but we're gonna make it happen some way. Oh, God's gonna make it happen. And I'm gonna be working, tutoring high school students. There's all, a lot of things going on, but I'll manage it. I could do it. No worries, right? <laughs> but a couple weeks ago, I had a thought of staying a couple more weeks in Korea before my 90 days was up because I wanted to just like fulfill the 90 days and take advantage of me being in Korea right now. But that thought that I had, it turned into a couple more months. So with the help of Lena's family, uh, we applied for a visa to extend my stay here and it's still in the process but everything seems to be going smoothly right now and we're gonna take it like we're gonna leave it like that right now as me leaving in December or beginning of January um, and the beginning was the making the decision was a little tough I was very indecisive and I'm already an indecisive person in general but it, it was very hectic and complicated I didn't want to think about it, so I was like, is it better to just go back instead of just staying here? But all to the glory of God, he spoke to me, gave me a plan, gave me an answer, and was like, here you go. And I was like, okay, thank you. <gasps> and also with the help of my parents too, they helped me decided, they helped me decided to um, stay in Korea for the rest of the year. And just experience life here because I've always wanted to but obviously if they were against it then I'd be flying home tonight um, because I want to listen to my parents and it is one of the commandments too to honor your parents wink wink <laughs> I am very blessed honored and thankful to be here in the middle of a pandemic um, I know there's a lot going on in everybody's life like we all like all of our lives were impacted by this virus for some the worst case possible for some we're truly blessed to not have fully experienced it but during my two months here I've created so many memories taken a lot more opportunities, challenged myself, um, grew spiritually, spending a lot more time with God in the Word, and really reflecting about my life. And on that note, I've been reflecting a lot. Like, let me emphasize, a lot. <laughs> like, majority of my time is thinking about my life, my purpose in life. What has what kind of purpose what kind of mission has God given me um, on this earth and I was supposed to do something else this summer like my plans 
okay, let me tell about, let me talk, talk to you about my plans. My plans were studying for the MCAT, working as an EMT because I got my license last December, and volunteering for organizations that I've always wanted to volunteer for, and um, continue volunteering for this hospice company that I was. But guess what? Those were all on pause. And I realized being in Korea, I'm restricted to do a lot of things. Like those plants, I can't even do any of those right now. Like God's just put like a pause in my life and he's like, you know what? You can't do this right now and you're gonna do my plan. And I just want you to focus on this job opportunity that I gave you. So here I am just focusing on that and not really worrying about anything else. Um, so hopefully I can resume my plans when I get back to the States because that's what I want to do. But if not, then it's okay because God has a better plan for me. <laughs> Let me just give you a picture of what God was doing in my life two months ago. So if this was a globe right here, right? He kind of just like picked me up, grabbed me from America and placed me in Korea like that. And I was like, I'm here. What am I supposed to do, God? <laughs> that was a little reference, but anyways, a lot of my friends and family are surprised and are in shock and in disbelief, like how is this possible? And whatever questions or thoughts you have too, I also have the same thing. Like, I did not know this was gonna happen in my life. Like who would have thought, right? Like God is just full of surprises and he just likes to surprise us sometimes. Maybe most of the times. But everything is just happening really quick. Like it's really hard for me to keep up with God. <laughs> but this is God's love for me and this is God's love for all of us. He wants the best for us while we are on this earth. And so he offered me a better plan. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and guided me and I followed and bam, I ended up here. This is what just happens when you go according to his plan and not your plan, but that's totally okay. Oh my gosh. God's just been so, so, so present in my life and he's doing so much. And this isn't only for me, but he's also doing something right now in your life, in this moment. And when you have something called faith and you give your life to Jesus Christ, wow, I don't even know how to explain or show you this, but God's going to do so much. He's going to do even more than you can imagine. And you're going to feel like a new person. You're going to feel so different and others will feel that too. And that you're going to be a blessing to others. He's always waiting for you to come to him. He's waiting for us. He's waiting for that moment for us to go to him. He's offered his hand out and he wants us to grab that hand. And once you grab that hand, he's going to do so many miracles in your life. And you're just going to be in shock because you're like, what? This is possible. How is this possible, right? But it's possible. Only with God it's possible. And so he's going to provide you with whatever you need. He's going to take you under his arms. He's going to hug you. He's going to comfort you, protect you in all circumstances. That's what I have to say right now. And if you've watched this far, thank you for listening to my story. I hope you received some kind of encouragement, inspiration, hope, or even something moving in your heart, or even felt God's love. I would hope that you did get something out from this video. But before I end, I just want to pray for all of us so you can close your eyes, bow your heads, put your hands together, or you can just watch me pray. Up to you, but let's just have a short prayer for us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, first off, I just wanna say thank you so much for everything that you have done, for everything you are doing and you will be doing in our lives. This pandemic has affected all of us in some sort of way and I pray that we can lean on you and go to you, Lord, 
for answers and for each just to heal our hearts lord we're hurting we're suffering we're in pain and we just need your comfort we just want you to come hug us and tell us that everything's gonna be okay for us not to worry because you will make everything possible you will heal our hearts lord and you're gonna put place peace into our hearts you love us so much and i pray that with that love we feel from you that we're able to express that and show and share that to those who need love this world just needs so much love we lack love and i think that's why we we hurt one another and we do things that we shouldn't be doing i pray that for those who know you that we can share your word, share about who you are, and share the blessings. And for those who don't know you yet, I know that you're working through them, you're working in them, and that someday that they will come to you and believe in you, Lord. Lord, once again, thank you so much for just giving us another day. And I um, pray that whoever came across this video, that you have spoken to them, through my video or showed them something or they felt something while listening to my story we love you so much and in your name we all pray amen i will see you guys next time thanks for tuning in